Hi, I'm Dr. Annadale, and our text for today is Chapter 2 of Darwin's On the Origin of Species. This chapter is 16 pages long. It's titled Variation Under Nature. In this chapter, Darwin argues that we see in nature variation on all points with respect to animals and plants. They can vary in virtually any respect. Part of his target here is to move towards the conclusion that natural selection is capable of generating the currently observed variety of living forms that we witness, with many, many heritable variations available. It's this wide variety of <coughs> variations uh, in animals and plants that provides the raw material for the transformation of species over time. One point that Darwin especially insists upon here is that there is no vivid separation between species in nature as we observe it. This is the point of his dwelling upon what he calls these doubtful forms, doubtful species, or forms that are hard to classify as one type or another. Darwin claims that these doubtful forms are much more common than you might suppose. They are act actually the rule rather than the exception. And this lends support to his view that we should think of species as a kind of continuum of varieties rather than as being uh, discrete and separate groups. He reflects that in his analysis of biological forms, the differences are immediately apparent, but it's only upon further study that we become aware of the similarities that unite different species or that unite different recognized species with these doubtful or trans intermediate forms that we find. So Darwin is concerned to uh, push the point that varieties of animals and plants and species are not fixed and stable, they're not set in silos. Uh, part of the way he does this at the end of the chapter is through what he calls his botanical arithmetic. And so as you read that section of the chapter, I have two questions for you to consider. First, why do we find more variation in widespread or dominant species? And second, how does this fact weigh against the doctrine of special creation of separate and distinct species? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.